Dr. Letitia Jaraza is getting her feet wet as the city's newly appointed health commissioner. You know, while a lot of attention in Baltimore has been on the city's escalating crime problems, Dr. Jaraza is focused on helping the city get healthy, too. <laughs> My mom tells a story when I was like seven or eight. I said I wanted to help people who don't have insurance get access to care. Maybe not that eloquent at the time, um, but now but years later, with her medical degrees on the wall and running the office as the city's top doc, Dr. Letitia Jaraza is living her best life and wants to help the people of Baltimore live theirs. That I really do want to make a difference. On her long list of to-dos, the health commissioner wants to tackle how crime trickles down into her department. To Jaraza, it's also a public health concern. Um, so I'm a strong proponent of something called trauma-informed care, um, which really trains those dealing with young people uh, how to better address them, how to empathize with them. While the country battles the war on opioids, our state is celebrating some good news. From January through March of this year, there were 577 drug and alcohol-related intoxication deaths. That's down 15% from the same period in 2018. All opioid, cocaine, and heroin-related deaths are all down. This is according to preliminary data from the Maryland Department of Health. Duraza says Baltimore City was already making strides on the epidemic. We've done a good job of, of starting to spread the word and provide more education, as well as distribution of naloxone. Um, I'd like for us to focus on making sure that there's enough access to recovery and treatment centers. On the measles outbreak, where we've already had more than 1,000 cases, five of them locally, some of the highest numbers we've seen in decades. So it scares me at the national level that this has become such a national um, crisis um, or epidemic. Um, but at the local level, our Office of Public Health uh, Preparedness and Response, immediately when we got the first call about the case in our region, um, started convening with Maryland Department of Health as well as Baltimore County Health Department to get a grasp on things. But if you really want to get a smile out of this pediatrician, ask her about her passion and how she wants to share it with all of Baltimore. In general, I love health and wellness, right? So I love to exercise. Um, so so I, I want to make that a thing that's infectious and, and really a part of um, how I move throughout the city. I walk every day uh, pretty much to work. Um, and I try to walk in between a lot of the places I go as long as it's in the city and, and within a mile, mile and a half. Now, she's got a lot of things on her agenda. The commissioner is also continuing to make strides in the war on HIV. Dr. Duraza says Baltimore is playing an active role in the CDC's End the Epidemic Initiative. Charm City is among 48 jurisdictions across the country targeted for additional funding to see how we can eliminate HIV.